Well, you could call it an upgrade of sorts for the Red House Arts Center in downtown Syracuse. Now that they've settled into their new space, the theater is welcoming a permanent artistic director. Today is day one for Hunter Foster and Rod, I sat down with Hunter today. He's a Tony-nominated actor, he's a director, he's a writer, and he has a lot to say about what brought him here and his vision for the Red House. There's these unlimited possibilities here, which I think is exciting. Christmas! I just don't understand it! With the second show of this season, Charlie Brown's Christmas, already in performance, Hunter Foster is going to get a chance to get his feet wet. A little, before really implementing his plans for Red House and what the next season will look like. We have this amazing space and amazing opportunity and it's all here. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to grow to get this. It's already, it's like the, and I, I've been saying this a bunch, that it's a Ferrari, you know, it, and it's, and you, it's just rare to see a space like this. Our favorite thing about him was that we felt like he was just naturally a part of the Red House family. This is my favorite time of year. After opening their amazing new home in the spring at the end of last season, Hannah says now is the right time to bring on Red House's first permanent artistic director in years. Having someone lead the artistic and bring the camera caliber of background that Hunter brings to, to Red House and to Syracuse is just critical for us. We had um, several meetings and we seemed to sort of uh, be on the same page and um, we seemed to sort of click uh, personality wise which I think is, is important. Jeff, you and I have talked a lot. Red House is about people. Hunter's about people. Mm -hmm. um, the conversations we've had, he gets it and that's kind of carrying on the focus and vision of what Red House is all about at the core. I want it to be a place where people around the country know what this is. Mm -hmm. And in five years, I want to say that we've we premiered um, some, you know, a, a new work that went to Broadway yeah. or went somewhere else. Um, you know, I want I want that to be the goal. I want us to and and, and for new, for Syracuse artists to have been involved with it. Now, having lived in New York City for about 25 years, Rod, he, he likes the location here in Syracuse, both to be close to New York City and also draw some yeah. talent from down there and his wife's from Rochester, so a lot of reasons I, I to be here. I certainly commend all involved for making great use of uh, space of what was once upon a time the Sibley department store. And it is a beautiful theater now. It really Check it out.